Hi everybody, welcome back to another weekly craft video. My name's Tori and this week I have an activity for adults. That doesn't mean that kids can't do this activity, it just means that they might need a little bit of extra help or supervision with the ingredients. Um, this week we are going to be making a bath bomb. This one is still in the mold, I just made it so it needs some time to set but you're going to get one of these plastic molds and you're gonna get enough ingredients to make one bath bomb. But I'm going to be including the recipe, so if you want to um, make more, you can definitely make more. These are some common household ingredients. Also, um, something that I didn't include in the ingredients list, but something that you can add is food coloring. So if you don't want it to be white, you can add some food coloring and get a different color. These are really fun to make and they make great gifts with the holiday season coming up. So I hope you enjoy this activity. Let's get started. In this week's craft kit, you're going to get everything that you need to make one of these bath bombs. The dry ingredients include baking soda, citric acid, Epsom salt, and cornstarch. I'm gonna measure out the exact amounts of each of these ingredients and combine them all in one bag. I'm not giving you each ingredient separately just to save on plastic packaging. Everything's gonna be combined in a plastic bag just like this. The liquid ingredients for this recipe are one tablespoon of liquefied coconut oil and half a tablespoon of water. Your craft kit will also contain a couple drops of uh, an essential oil. This is optional. You do not have to add this um, scent to your bath bomb. The bath bomb already smells a little bit citrusy from the citric acid. First, empty all of your dry ingredients into a container. Next, mix everything very well with a fork or a whisk and make sure that you get out any clumps that might be in your dry ingredients. Next, combine your liquid ingredients. If you decide to use the essential oil, add the drops to your coconut oil. In the end, add about a half a tablespoon of water. Give that a little mix. Now it's time to add our liquid ingredients to our dry ingredients. It's very important that you do this slowly. What you wanna do is add a little bit of the liquid mixture to the dry mixture and mix it all up really quickly, just a little bit at a time. Once you add liquid to the dry ingredients like the baking soda and the citric acid, it's gonna start to react and to fizz just like your bath bomb does when you drop it in your bath water. But we wanna limit this reaction as much as possible now so that we get a better reaction when we actually go to use our bath bomb. So just pour a little bit at a time and mix really well as you go. Once you've added in all your liquid, your mixture should look nice and fluffy just like this. And when you touch it, it should sort of hold its shape, kind of like snow. Next, you're going to want to grab your mold and start packing the mixture into one side and then the next. I packed this side nice and tight and it's just overflowing just a little bit. So now I'm gonna set this one aside. Once you have each side nice and tightly packed, try to close your container. I'm twisting it over um, this bowl here so I don't make a really big mess. And as I twist, um, what won't fit in the mold is going to fall out and I should be able to join together my two sides here. Don't push too hard on these plastic molds, they can break. So just gently try to combine your two halves 
until they fit together, just like that. Now you're gonna wanna let this sit for about 24 hours. Once I set down my mold, my bath bomb to dry, um, it kept popping open, I guess it was pretty full. So to keep it close, I wrapped some rubber bands around it and just kind of set it inside a little cup like that just to kind of keep it together. And it dried just fine like that. It was a little bit open on the sides, but that's okay. If you want to get two for the price of one, instead of um, putting together your molds to make one bath bomb, you can leave them separate like this, and then you have two. Maybe one for you and one to give out as a gift.